This man literally has a chainsaw. I have no idea where that weed eater is, but it is loud as fuck. Yes, like. Um, once again, I remind you that the most essential piece of item, uh, most essential purchase for Varsity is a pair of noise cancelling headphones. But, yeah, things are going well. Just busy studying for 263, doing a past paper, remembering that I have to put my calculator in radians. Always! Now that engineering, now that engineering's gotten a bit further on in the course, you know, we don't use degrees ever anymore. It's always radians, um, which is really important. And yeah, I just think past papers today. I finished summarizing all my subjects. Got my first tests tomorrow. It's Monday, by the way, early morning. Um, getting ready for end week, which has already started. But as I said, starting tomorrow and feeling pretty good about it, actually. Tuesday afternoon, going for a run. This is the first time I've been outside since Sunday, so very much a happy person, even if my legs are really sore right now. I do not understand. I am halfway through my run and my shins are unbearably sore. Whew. Um, I don't understand either because I ran 10 kilometers the other day, just over like a week and a half ago with my sister. Um, and I was fine, but today, yes, my shins are so sore. I think it's because I haven't been running a lot. By the end of this week, it should be a lot better though, having to run every day. Should loosen up those bad boys. I'm down, I'm down, down of you. You say you won't come back. And nobody's better than me now. But I'm tired of It's late. I'm finished studying for the night, 12 o'clock. I'm going to bed now. I feel really confident for my first semester test tomorrow. So here's to hoping it goes well. Had a good day today, productive day, just sitting in that chair, and despite the fact that my run was really painful with shin splints, um, I'm sure it's just getting back to the running. I'm sure tomorrow it'll be much better. And so yeah, productive day, even if it wasn't the most fun. See you early in the morning. Test was good, I think I managed to pass. Um, it's quite difficult, but it was alright. What did you think, Dylan? Extremely shit. Extremely shit? Yeah. Why? I don't know. It's not good. Shame, man. Yeah, I didn't know how to prove the theorem, but... I don't know. I guess we'll see. Hey, what's up? It's 21 minutes past 9 now on Monday night. Busy studying for digital systems or microchips tomorrow morning. It's going really well. That's a corner math question I just got going on up there. Easy stuff. And I'm in my book here, I've been summarizing the different transistor formats. Um, it took me a while to get it, but I'm really happy now. I actually understand the fundamental physics behind the NOT gate, the PMOS and the NMOS, uh, CMOS gates, and then how to simulate different logics, like the AND gate, the OR gate, the XOR and the XNOR gates, using transistors and the physics and the underlying uh, you know, electrons underneath stuff that makes things work. And it's really nice just to have things coming together in my mind. That eureka moment sometimes like hits in three times in a row when you're studying for a while. And it happened this afternoon. And so yeah, decoders, multiplexers. Um, and now just doing some, some logic, a bit of binary, hexadecimal, that kind of, those easy conversions and that just for easy marks at the beginning of the paper. So yeah, going well. I think... I wouldn't go as far to say as it's my favorite module this semester, but it's certainly one of the most interesting digital systems, especially the practical stuff that we're doing with the AND gates and the electricity and making cool shit happen, like like designing future sensors and that for robot cars and the, the, the textbook example always is a seatbelt warning system, so if you're sitting in a car and you don't have your seatbelt on and the car is moving, then set off the seatbelt um, warning light and like that logic behind it and actually learning how that comes to be is really, really cool and I'm really enjoying it. I don't think I explained it well, but what I was studying for this morning, numerical methods, maths, is actually a really interesting version of maths. So it's not actually finding exact 
solutions to equations and working out an answer to an integral or an equation, but rather estimating a solution as close as possible to really complex problems. Say for instance you have a formula like that, it would be really difficult to solve for the roots of that and the polynomials of that. Um, and so say you have a graph like that which is probably not, probably doesn't look like that, but looks like that, a really complicated function, and you have another function like this, you want to know where they intersect. Um, if you don't know, if you don't have a nice plotted graph, and that it's obviously very difficult to tell, and to solve that equation equal to that is quite difficult. Well, I'm sure you can do it, but, you know, regardless, this is an easy example. And so then we use uh, formulas like the secant formula and the Newton-Raphson, which is when you go up like this, and you take an initial point, and then you slowly, not like that, and then you slowly work your way iteratively towards where the functions converge and then that's your answer and then you get an estimated solution it's actually pretty accurate like up to like three or four decimal places as you go and so that's one of the numerical methods we're learning and it's really interesting actually um, it's one of the easier math courses we've done but it's still it's like really powerful and so it's nice to actually do some different maths and not just integrals and like really abstract thinking actually like some maybe, maybe practical stuff. I don't know. I'm on my way to my ERS microchips test, feeling ready. But uh, I'm busy listening to an audiobook at the moment called Counting Stars as part of the Lady Astronaut series. Um, got it yesterday. And it's really good. It's set in an alternate history where in the 1950s a giant meteorite slammed into the earth, wiped out half of Washington, caused a runaway greenhouse effect that starts to like make the planet uninhabitable unha and it's an alternate history of the space race and interplanetary colonization if humans were forced in the 50s to suddenly to suddenly accelerate like space travel and interplanetary um, development and it's really interesting and I'm really enjoying it So I just fell off my bike again, um, ow, I uh, tried to jump a lip onto a curb, like I do every single day, but I wasn't paying, I don't know what I was doing, I was looking ahead or something, and I didn't jump high enough, and so my front wheel just went doof, poof, and I fell straight over the front of my bike, ow, Ugh. wear a helmet kids, it's absolutely essential, this is the third fucking time this year, and I'm back, test was good, um, pretty sure I passed and did quite well actually it was really good I didn't understand the multiplexer and um, three input NOR gate question I had to construct a circuit using one three input NOR gate and a multiplexer didn't quite get the billion logic right but otherwise good understanding it still enjoying it two tests to go this week 100% the secret to staying sane at varsity is taking a module less than you're supposed to uh, obviously because not taking maths I only have four tests this week. So two left. And I'm um, excited to get it over with. Excited to go graft now. Hey, what's up? Wednesday afternoon, another run. Still sore today, shins, but pushing through once again. Ah, no pain, no gain, all those terrible workout cliches. That test went okay, it wasn't wonderful. I forgot one or two easy formulas and messed some things up that I shouldn't have. It was very theoretical as opposed to the very practical past papers, so that was frustrating. Felt a bit shit because I worked hard for it and this is like a really, really important module for us. But the memo just got released online because Dr. Palachuk is an absolute legend of a lecturer and so I checked my answers that I've written down against that. And yeah, nearly, nearly 50 exactly actually, so I think I actually might have passed. So. Feeling a bit better now, and someone, one of the boys, suggested we go to Springbok and get a beer and a burger. And you know, once someone mentions beers, there's no saying no. The next test is only on Saturday, it's Thursday afternoon now, so that's happening.
Nobody's better than me 